Imagine a world where insects rule the skies. Picture a time when the air was thick with the hum of wings, giant dragonflies with wingspans like hawks, darting through ancient jungles, massive ants that could strip a tree bare in hours, working in unison with incredible efficiency. This isn't science fiction, it's our planet's history, a time when nature's scale was vastly different. Millions of years ago, giant insects were a reality, preserved in amber and sediment. Why were insects so large? The answer lies in the air, specifically the higher oxygen levels. Ancient Earth had far more oxygen, creating an environment where insects could thrive and grow. This allowed insects, which breathed through tiny tubes called spiracles, to grow to enormous sizes. But over time, oxygen levels dropped, leading to a dramatic change in the size of these creatures. Giant insects disappeared. Or did they? Could some have survived in isolated pockets? What if somewhere these giants survived hidden away in unexplored jungles or deep within mysterious caves? Insects don't breathe like we do, they lack lungs. Instead, they have spiracles, which are small openings along their bodies. These tiny holes allow oxygen to enter directly into their bodies. Oxygen enters through these holes and diffuses into a network of tubes. This network of tubes called trachea distributes oxygen throughout the insect's body. This system is very efficient for small insects, but it's also limited by the size of the insect. In the past, higher oxygen levels in the atmosphere allowed insects to grow much larger than they are today. The abundance of oxygen in the air fueled their growth, enabling them to reach enormous sizes. Some prehistoric dragonflies, for example, had wingspans of over two feet, making them true giants of the insect world. However, as oxygen levels in the atmosphere decreased over time, the size of insects also diminished. Today, we wonder if there could still be pockets of high oxygen in certain environments. Perhaps in deep caves or dense jungles where conditions might allow for higher oxygen concentrations. If such places exist, it's possible that giant insects might still be lurking in these forgotten corners of the world, waiting to be discovered. Deep rainforests offer a tantalizing possibility. These ecosystems are incredibly rich in life, they have high humidity and dense vegetation. Could these factors create microclimates with elevated oxygen? It's plausible. Imagine giant stick insects camouflaged amongst the branches or enormous beetles burrowing into the forest floor. These insects wouldn't be monsters, they would be marvels of adaptation, they would be living relics of a bygone era. Section 4. Ecological Upheaval – The Impact of Giant Insects on Ecosystems The introduction of giant insects would reshape ecosystems. Herbivorous giants would devour vegetation at alarming rates. This would impact entire food chains. It could even lead to the extinction of plant species. Carnivorous giants would pose a different threat. They could decimate populations of smaller animals. Birds, reptiles, even small mammals would be on the menu. The delicate balance of nature would be thrown into disarray. Section 5. A world shared human interactions with giant insects. Our encounters with giant insects would be a mixed bag. These interactions would be filled with moments of awe and wonder, as well as challenges and fears. On one hand, they would be a source of wonder. The sheer size and beauty of these creatures would captivate our imaginations. Imagine the awe-inspiring sight of a giant butterfly in flight. Its wings, spanning several feet, would create a mesmerizing display of colors and patterns. They could inspire new technologies. Engineers and scientists might study their unique adaptations to develop innovative solutions for human challenges. We might learn from their efficient respiratory systems. These insights could lead to advancements in medical and environmental technologies. On the other hand, there would be challenges. The presence of giant insects could disrupt ecosystems and human activities. Crop damage from giant herbivores could lead to food shortages. Farmers would struggle to protect their fields from these enormous pests. Some giant insects might even be venomous, posing a direct threat to humans. Encounters with these creatures could result in serious injuries or fatalities. Our relationship with them would be complex, a tapestry of fear, fascination, and the need for coexistence. We would need to find ways to live alongside these giants. Thinking about giant insects forces us to confront the fragility of our world. It highlights the delicate balance of our ecosystems and the impact of our actions. It reminds us that even the most fantastical scenarios can hold valuable lessons. These hypothetical situations encourage us to think critically about our environment. 
By exploring the what-ifs, we gain a deeper understanding of our planet and our place within its intricate web of life. This exploration fosters a greater appreciation for the natural world and our role in preserving it.